Oh, oh my god, so good. Just watch this. Watch this. Chat, just watch this magic happening without having any instruction on this prompt session so far. He's literally running my test suite to ensure that everything is working correctly. Isn't this so good? So Let's recap a little bit. You probably have seen a video of mine where I talk about vibe coding and we noticed that vibe coding is pretty much all these powerful new editors including windsurf and cursor where you can literally scaffold your entire app from this prompt which is very very powerful now sometimes the editor or this new prompt llm system doesn't know how exactly you like your code to be and i have discovered that pretty much both windsurf but also cursor they come with this feature call it the dot rules file and i've actually created my own let me show you so i'm gonna go here all the way down and i have this dot windsurf rules now here is call it dot windsurf rules because i'm using the windsurf editor but i do know that if you are using cursor would be the equivalent dot cursor okay now within this file you want to ask or explain the ai how exactly you like your arc your applications to be architectured and i have noticed that you know if we tell them something like use php 8.4 features uh, make sure you follow my coding style convention specified on pine.json ensure strict types and array shapes with php stan don't use the abstract base controllers of Laravel. If I'm basically explicit how I like things, the AI will do a much better job generating my application. And I have some more examples, like use the action pattern, for example, and I have a clear example how to use the action pattern. I'm telling the AI, for example, to avoid fillable props, uh, to avoid the down method on migrations and very very important i tell the ai to not remove any test because ai for some reason loves to remove some tests and i don't like to do that and most importantly every time ai finishes the cascade of prompts i ask the ai to run composer test which will run my entire test suite, including linking, type coverage, code coverage, the entire beast, which hopefully will ensure that the new code coming into the scene will have some quality. So again, just recap, make sure that every single project you are starting, you have your dot rules file used by the LLM editor you are using at the moment for Vive coding. Insanely important. And today we're actually putting this into the test by creating a new fresh app from start. Hey, you see? Oh! You guys see this? We literally have this new line, which I never instructed AI to literally follow streak typing, but because we have the dot rules file, the AI automatically is following streak typing and avoid the feelable property in models because it does literally nothing at all. Isn't this cool? Oh, oh my God, so good. Just watch this, watch this. Chat, just watch this magic happening without having any instruction on this prompt session so far. He's literally running my test suite to ensure that everything is working correctly. Isn't this so good? So you run my test suite and he noticed that actually one of the files he generated it's not covered on the line 59. So basically, I don't have full code coverage. So basically, he went to that particular file, fixed the, to the file itself to have, again, 100% code coverage. This is cool. What's up, everyone? It's Nunu here. And if you are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free, supports the channel, but also keeps you in the loop for the latest videos. Don't miss out and hit that subscribe button now. Ooh, love it. Love it. I absolutely love that my AI tool is becoming so smart. Just watch this. Chat message controller with a store method, with a store method. On top of that, create chat message request with the given model round binding chat session 
in a create chat message action and is using the validated content for the handle method. Gorgeous, beautiful, great job here. Love it.